<laughs> we'll go to the front line of a war, and the only reason we don't walk away and abandon our post as artillery shells let rain is because we're afraid of being mocked for being a coward. We'll die for our status. So status is what it's all about. It's what it's always been about. You want a man to marry you, status. And it's the same thing with nearly anything you want to do with a man. I don't know anything about your personal life. I'll be honest, I don't know, right? But I'll tell you this now. If this dude, this NBA player, believed that he would be higher respected amongst his peers and amongst society for taking care of you properly, that's what he'd fucking do. He doesn't feel that because either he's rolling with the wrong people or you've pissed him off in a way or something public's happened. I don't have a clue, but something's happened where he feels like if I take care of her, I'll look like a bitch. That's what he's scared of. If it was inversed, he had no problem giving you money. Because that's how men function. I'm telling you right now, as a man, I'm telling you what I would do. If I had a chick with a woman, right? And she went on the news, top cheese this and fucking... I, and this, I, like I said, I have no idea what you've done, but I'm just giving my personal made-up scenario. Oh, yeah. she, she would have gone on the news, top cheese this, and he fucking lied to me. He's a piece of shit, da 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 and then I bought her a Bentley. Women's like, well, look, she insults Top G. She insults him, and he's fucking, he's a simp. Da, da, da. But if she was like, you know what? He, he's misunderstood. He's a good guy. It just didn't work out. Boom, boom, boom. I bet she'd be in a mansion, right? And would that be me being a nice guy, caring about her? Or let's be honest, would it be me being a selfish piece of shit dude and saying, what makes me look better? Mm. Men are all about status. It's how we function. It's how we function as a whole. So Damn. society, this is where it extrapolates. It gets interesting. When society with this new think has destroyed all of the baseline humanities and baseline understandings of how men interact with women. And now, all the things we previously understood about what made a good man, what made a good woman, and how we should act together and how we should interact has been erased. Of course men are acting like dickheads, and of course women are doing wrong things, because so nothing makes sense anymore. You've taken the chessboard and moved all the fucking pieces around. Nobody gets it. It should be very simple. I'm a man, I work hard, I take care of my woman. I'm the man of the house, she treats me with respect, she would never insult me or raise her voice to me in front of other people, she has a problem, she brings it to me in, in private. We act as a team, we work together. If we break up, she was a good woman to me, she fulfilled her roles the best she possibly could, I'm still a man, I'm going to take care of her. But all of that is gone all of it's gone all of it and it's gone because of all the ideas we were discussing earlier the feminism the new age bullshit the fucking dudes left and right and center the, all these things all these baseline things have eroded society to the point where now you have men ignoring their paternal instinct you have men who will sit there and go that's my child but i, I fuck her that that is that that's actually a massive observation to make about how fucked up society is and it's all, and it shouldn't be that way because men in a lot of the world are not like that. And, and so you have to look at all these small things, the small things we talk about. It's no big deal. She goes on boats in Miami. It's no big deal. It is a big deal because now that dude ain't going to want to fucking pay child support because you were on those fucking boats with his fucking the other team. And the thing That's is, the game. Do you That's it, guys. That's the end of the video. Um, how do you feel about that? I think Angie Tate is a national treasure. I think that he speaks from a decent space. Like, literally, when he, when he speaks about men and what men want and what's important to men, he's dead on. Dead on. But he speaks on, you know, higher value men. Those who earn in the 1% or 5 or 10%. Most men don't make the money. Andrew makes so, but he speaks for that percentage. But still, even the men that are in that lower percent who don't earn five million a month, they may earn five to ten k a month or lower than that, right? Um, but it's still the same, you know. We want our women to be quiet, feminine submissive and respectful because we're going to do what we need to do to protect her and take care of her. So what you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching the video. Triggered reactions. I love y'all, man. Y'all guys have been amazing. Um, and see you guys in the next video. Peace.